Hey there, this is Vanessa and today is day four of our training and today we're going to talk about content. But before we start talking about that, let's do a little recap of everything that we've worked on so far because I really want you to have these different concepts pretty well defined before you keep moving on. Num day number one, we talked about finding your niche, like what area are you going to promote items in? It will it be the health industry? the wealth industry or the relationship industry. And you, some people do stray into two different ones, but I think in the beginning, it's really important that you stick with one. Um, and then you can kind of expand and have different businesses. Um, we also talked about finding your why. You really wanna have that reason that you're doing this. Why are you going to sacrifice your time and or your money to build this business. What is your why? What is that driving force? And we talked about how you can find that. Day two, we talked about finding a product and I gave you some examples of different sites you can go to. There's obviously more, but that gives you an idea of what you're looking for. And day three, yesterday we talked about setting up your affiliate link or grabbing that link and putting it someplace where you can get it again. And I'm gonna be showing you tomorrow what to do with that link. But part of this process isn't just selling a product. Part of it is building a following. Your following is your traffic and that's who your customers are. You are not, and I'm going to make this clear, you are not going to just post a product on Facebook and everybody's going to swarm to it and buy it. Even if they're your friends, it doesn't work that way. That's actually called spamming. And you can do that and maybe get a few sales here and there, but you're going to be very disappointed. You really need to build a following. And how you do that, many of you are familiar with Facebook and you have lots of friends. You, you pretty much have a following for your friendships. Well, now you're looking for a following for your business. Many people start with their profile page on Facebook and then they get a business page and they start building their business there. Um, but right now what I want you to think about is the platform that you want to start with and really dig in and learn how to use it for an affiliate marketing business. Now today I'm not going into details, I'm giving you a broad spectrum of what you need to do. Um, if you pick platforms like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, usually those are what we call interrupt type marketing those are typically platforms people go to to you know find friends build relationships they're not really people aren't really looking for things they're not really looking to be sold to if that makes sense so if you decide to use instagram for example you are going to learn how to post ads talk about your product and you're doing what we call interrupt type marketing. It's, it's, you know, you're interrupting what they came there for. And so you really have to be good at it and learn more about interrupt marketing. If you do use something like YouTube, then you're doing a search based marketing and that, you know, when you go to YouTube, you're typically yourself going to Google and you're searching for something. And sometimes you go to a blog that somebody has, and I didn't add blog to the list. That's another thing you could do. Um, or you go to a YouTube video. So people really are looking for you when they go to YouTube. I personally have spent most of my time on my YouTube platform and that's where I spend I have most of my content. And what do I mean by that? That's where you want to put content that you're giving value to someone. So if you're in the health and fitness industry, we're going to stick with that. And since we've been using that as an example, um, you're going to start posting things about health and fitness and people will find you when they ask questions, they'll find you on your YouTube and they'll see your video or they'll find you on your blog and they'll, they'll, they'll read your blog and your article. There's more involved than that, but that's typically the two different kinds of marketing on these platforms. Um, some people don't like to do videos, so they decide to do a podcast. Podcast, you're mostly radio, and you, you have to speak about 30 to 45 minutes, um, which is nice. People will listen to you when they're in the car. Um, so if you prefer just to talk, that's okay too. Now, some of our professionals, they will put a YouTube um, full of value on YouTube video. And then from that, they will use it for a podcast and then have it turned into a blog. I mean, it can get really complicated and really amazing what people are doing. But for now, as a beginner, pick that one platform. And this is where you're going to put content. Now, what I want to go into next is like, how to provide, um, how to do some of the graphics and things. I did not know this at first. Uh, so I really wanted to share a couple things that um, people who 
are already in the marketing industry may know about it, but there's two platforms I like to use. One is called getstencil.com and the other one is canva.com. Now you may already be using it because maybe you like to post um, different quotes and fun things on Facebook. Maybe you're really social and you do a lot of that. So that's great. You're ahead of the game, but I just want to show these platform so that people who are trying to find a different banner for their Facebook page or they want to find a channel banner for their YouTube video and then when you go to post these posts I can find pictures I can put quotes on them and I can even make them to the right size that I need so let's go to stencil first and I already googled up here I did a search for health and fitness so they brought up all the pictures that were already in here which is awesome and I'm gonna pick this one here this person running so I clicked it and it's going to put it right there. Now see, I can move it around. Now, if I go right here, see where it says default, I can hit that little tiny, this is really important because it's different on Canva, but I can hit that and then it says, well, where do you want to post this picture? We're going to size it for you. Well, I'm going to make it a Facebook photo and look at that. It sized it down and it's ready for Facebook. Now I want to put a quote on the front. So I am going to go down here to quotes and I'm going to search for inspiration and right here let's see let's do it right there I just click it and the quote is on there and I can move it down and I'm going to get rid of that up there and there you go that quick I have my quote on there and then I can use that um, maybe I want to do a post and you're giving content you're giving value so I just did an inspirational quote think about that quote and then write something about it. Maybe it triggers um, an experience that you had. Um, people can relate more to you when you share yourself and share experiences and what that quote means to you and when you want that to mean to them. But that's how fast I just made my post picture and now I can add value and content. Now this is really cool. Some of the things it does. See this transparency button? You just move it over and see how the background gets lighter. You can do something like that. You can make it blurry if you'd like. Give it a little bit of style. Look at that. See? So you wonder how people are doing all these cool things. This is how they're doing it. Um, and, and most of it here is pretty um, easy to look at. You've got cropping. Um, you can upload a different background if you want. Um, you can resize it again if you need to and all of that. So that's how easy it is to use GetStencil.com. I'm going to put the link below if that's something you want to play with. Um, Canva is also good. Um, the features are similar. Um, they're just done differently like right here it says what kind of post do you want and I want to do a Facebook post it's going to take me right over and it's already got it resized and right here it has some samples if I want to use some of these templates that are already here I can take them just double click it most of them are free every once in a while there'll be one that it's a dollar but um, I can change this picture I can just um, click it delete that picture that's over there and upload my own and then I can go in here on the um, font and I can type something different so just to show you that you know I can use that template but change it but it already has it designed for me now where do you find photos go down here where the cloud is and you can upload your own images from there and I, I've got some things that I've got in here um, but anyway you just upload it and you can delete them when you're finished right here I've got two of the same thing so I can go down here see the three little dots and I can hit delete and it takes it out otherwise they're just there for you for later you can go in here and put different icons on your on your um, picture you can use the arrow maybe you need to you know point to something you can make it smaller if you just come in here and play I'm not one that typically likes to play with things but I do like playing with this stuff um, and right here see where this little box is it's white I can change the color of the arrow so let's say I want to make a big red arrow and see there so it's fun. You can do all kinds of things. Um, you just really need to get in here and play. And you're, you may find in the beginning, you're spending a lot of time trying to be creative, but after a while it becomes really second nature and it doesn't take a lot of time. Now, one of the things I want to show you, um, let's go back to Canva in the beginning. You can do a, a Facebook um, cover. So if you want to redo your cover for your Facebook, it will size it for that. And a lot of times people will put a background and you know when uh, sometimes let's go ahead and put a background on it 
I want to show you something real quick. Let's put that there. All right, I want to come to one other program I want to show you today. It's called Remove the Background Image. And I have found these before. I just came across this actually, so I'm really excited to show it to you. But this has always been in programs that you had to pay for. And right here, watch how easy this is. Select a photo. It's called Background. Remove background. Um, let's just pick a picture here. Let's. Uh, I don't have good ones. Sorry about that. I should delete them, but oh, uh, let's see. Let's just pick that one. It's gonna load it. I'm bad about not getting rid of extra stuff, but okay. So it, so it loaded the picture, and see down there how it removed the background. And then I can download it. And then if I want to put that picture on a background where maybe the city or skyscraper, you know, the behind me, it will look like I'm there. Um, there's some there's some examples on here. Like look at that, you know, little boy. But that's all you do, and then upload it, and you just take that background out. It's really cool. So see how there's different pictures here, and you can take the background out, and then you can change the background. So it's that simple. Just upload your picture, and the program is called removebackground.com. I'll have the link below so you can see it. But that's a that's a great thing to have. All right, um, one more thing I'm going to give you today is um, – another PDF and it's going to have a whole bunch of links of where you can find pictures for free. Uh, maybe you're in Get Stencil and maybe you can't find a picture that you really like here and you would like to try to go to Unsplash or a, another site like that or Adobe. I'm going to give you a PDF and I'm going to put it in below so that you can have that as well so that you can check out those sites too um, you probably can find what you need in the beginning right here because there's lots and lots of photos but just in case you can't find exactly what you're looking for i'm going to give you at least 10 more resources that you can go to i hope that helps you today um, but start thinking about content what can i give to people to help them because people buy from you because they know you they like you and they trust you. Think of yourself when you go to buy a car. I don't, I've done that before. I have walked out off a car lot because I did not like the person that was selling to me. Or maybe I got out of my car and nobody came to greet me. And after 15 minutes, when they came out to greet me, I was done. I was like, I'm, I'm not gonna even stay here and talk to you because you didn't even come out and try to serve me. Um, other times, maybe you bought something that you shouldn't have because you liked the person. So it works both ways. But that's who's going to buy from you, people that like you, and they're going to follow you because you keep giving so much value. I mean, especially in the health and fitness industry, you can go with nutrition, um, you can talk about weight loss, you can talk about exercise, and even if you're selling exercise as your product, you still can talk about those other things that go with it, like the nutrition and uh, making good decisions and having a good mindset. You don't have to only talk about exercise, but people are going to go, wow, I, you know, every day I, I see, you know, Stella on Facebook and she keeps giving me all this value. I, I'm, and then they'll start telling their friends about you. And before you know it, you'll have a huge following and that's how it works. But it does take time um, to put that together. doesn't mean you won't make sales, but it means that you have to put all these pieces together. All right, let, tomorrow, day five is our last day, and I'm actually going to take you into my ClickFunnels account, and I'm going to show you how to build a landing page. And something I want you to start thinking about um, before tomorrow, because I'm going to be talking about a free item, and I want to tell you what that is now so that you're ready for it tomorrow. But typically, um, you know how you've been on Facebook or, you know, you've been Googling or something, and they say, hey, give me your email address, and I'll send you this free checklist um, or this ch new free 10-day diet that I've used and I've lost 10 pounds or whatever. Um, and you're like, wow, I'll do that. And you give your email address, and then you get that PDF with that diet on it. That's what you're going to learn how to do to tomorrow. But I want you to start thinking about what can I give away for free? A, a checklist or a guide or a PDF, um, something quick and small right now, because like I said, we're just starting out. But um, think of something that you could give that would attract people to you where they would want to give you their email address. And then tomorrow we're going to talk about what to do with that item. So I'm going to have an item that I've already put together and I'm going to show you how you start collecting email 
lists and collecting that customer base list and how do you communicate with them. All right, until tomorrow, you have a great day.